Hi, I'm Shanna Maricic. I'm Head of Academic Administration at the College. My role at the College is to ensure that students are enrolled in subjects that meet their needs and also to meet the NISA requirements that are established throughout New South Wales. Furthermore, it's my responsibility to ensure that we monitor the students' performance over time and that we clarify and rectify any problems along the way. In order for students at the college to choose their subject selections wisely, the college will provide opportunities for students um, to make that choice. Firstly, students will be involved in career lessons in which students then can identify subjects of interest and careers of interest. They will also use that information to look at tertiary education facilities and their requirements for when they go into university. Secondly, students will be involved in the process of um, a careers survey in which it will identify exact um, careers that suit the needs of the students, their abilities and also um, their interest. The college will also provide a subject expo and that expo will involve students going around to each individual department to ask teachers and students about the subjects of interest. Lastly, students will be involved in an interview process in which um, students, parents, executives and heads of department will look at their pattern of study and make sure it suits the needs of those students. In order for students to have a voice in the subject selection process at the college, um, several processes will be involved. Firstly, students will be sent a survey in which they will rank from order of decreasing interest um, their subjects of choice. That survey will then be statistically analysed to determine the lines that will be provided at the school. Students will then get a second survey and that survey will be used then for the students to choose their subjects for 2021. Um, students will then be able to um, sit with um, heads of department, executives and parents to look at their subject, subjects of choice and then they will be able to then make a final decision about what subjects they will then partake in in 2021. During the subject selection process, students and parents will have the opportunity to discuss with subject experts, executives and heads of department um, the subject choice of interest to ensure that students choose the correct subjects based on their needs, ability and interest. It's important not to choose a subject based on a specific teacher or friends being in a class or the perception of a subject being too hard or too easy. Also the perception of a subject scaling poorly or favourably. It's important to choose the subject for the correct reasons. It's important that students actually get involved in the processes that are involved in the college because that will help them to make decisions about their subject selection. So get involved in the subject expo, the careers survey, careers lessons and most importantly ask for advice when needed. In year 9 and year 10 students will choose subjects that are electives. They will choose two major electives and one minor elective. The major elective is a 200 hour course which is run over two years and it really involves three lessons per week of that subject. The minor elective is a 100 hour course which is run over the two years and it is three lessons per fortnight. There is a possibility to change your 200 hour elective after year nine, however the 100 hour elective cannot be changed. So it's important in this process that you choose wisely for the 100 hour elective course. Additional information about the subject selection process for the Collegians and the Uni 9 students are in the handbooks provided. Feel free to have a look through those handbooks and um, if you need any additional advice or support in your decision, come and ask for help um, from either the executive team or myself or any of your teachers or heads of department. 
I'd like to wish all of the students all the best in their subject selection process and their academic studies. And just remember that your journey in learning is really a collaborative event in which the academic team, the pastoral care team and um, your family will support you throughout this whole process.